What? Who do we get? Oh, that's that is a good set. Elliot and who? Emrak. He's a fox main here who beat SB um, okay. at Ultra Bear, which is a regional okay. here. Yeah, this is gonna be a good set. It's Fox. It's Fox Falco. All right, I'm gonna take Brandon. Brandon, you you can take the reins here. Introduce us to Elliot. Probably one of your longer time training partners, um, your child on some level. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got with okay, Elliot? Okay, so the thing is, Elliot has been playing melee since I think he was 12. He used to be a Marth main. Um, and then he was he, playing it in the womb. He might as well. Be <laughs> and then I think they were hand warmers. I think they yeah, hand warmers. Hand warmers. Yeah, hand warmers. Okay. Yeah. So um, so I've known Elliot for a really long time. I think around four years now. Uh, he used to be like a you know mid level Falco, yeah. and then recently he just like. Maybe not recently, but he just started getting really good because he just kept playing the game. And so, um, that's Elliot. He's yeah. 17, I think? Um, Crazy crash kids, man. He's, yeah, he's really good at the game. And then Amrak is uh, is actually a Fox player who I played a couple times. I played him in one set uh, mm -hmm. at BSV, which is a local here. Yep. And then uh, he... It, it's crazy, because I, I know this person, but he didn't really start getting really good until like fairly recently. We're talking Amrak? Amrak, yes. Okay. He started getting really good by the time Co before COVID like set in. So around two years ago, he started getting really good. If you could, if you could note me one thing that Amrak's really good at coming into the set. He's really aggressive. He's, he's really aggressive. He he likes to press the game in his own tempo, and I know for a fact that Elliot finds the Fox matchup, Fox Falcon matchup, really uncomfortable. Okay. For him. He says it's his worst. So um, we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna see how Elliot's gonna deal with this aggression yeah, running at him much. from this Fox. Yeah. It's gonna be about whether he can stay calm in the face of this. You know, the Fox is going. Ping, 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 ping. Yeah. A lot of things coming out today. Yeah. A lot right, of shines. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. We're, we're getting into it. Okay, so what Ellie does really, really well, mm -hmm. uh, two things. Um, I think his drift on downer is really, really good. Yeah. Uh, he's able to just kind of like, yeah, see there, yeah. he did downer, like full momentum forwards, yeah. and then fade back. Yeah. Because he realized nothing was going to connect. So that was really good, right? Because you don't overcommit. You just kind of go like, okay, I'm going to put this move out. If you hit it, if you run into it and I hit you, then I get percent. Um, so Elliot there tried to roll, uh, read a roll. To roll to left. Yeah, match, it yeah. didn't work out, but he didn't get punished for it, which is nice. Elliot um, looks pretty calm right now. Looks really, yeah. really good. He's playing very secure. Yeah. Uh, very controlled. I would say. Yeah. Uh, Emmerich is has to kind of just try to push the tempo. Yeah. I think he's, yeah. yeah Ooh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Once you catch Falco without a double jump, that giant is free. Yeah. So it's actually really awkward for Fox to get in. His main way of getting percent is to grab there. Yeah. Uh, grab into a tech chase. Um, platforms make tech chasing Falco a lot easier. Oh, really Amrak read the high recovery, yeah. but he... Did not react in time? That was really good. Uh, yeah, really that's good. Good, yeah. good job. So there, Ellie did a preemptive downer to cover any angle towards the stage. Um, but Amrak went up in response to that. So Amrak just decided, oh, Elliot decided to just, oh, you're gonna have to come down here eventually. I'm just gonna put another down right now. So that was really good. Um, normal getup was really, really good. Um, normal getup is risky. So, okay, if they read you doing a normal getup, you die because yeah. you're even closer off stage and you have less off. But I think if anything, that just showed that like Elliot was pretty. Yeah. He's kind of he testing. Just, him yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a test. He's saying, can you react to this normal getup right here? Even yeah. Kind of slow. If he's you unable, you you can't really you can react to it. You have to be a lot closer. Though, that's yeah. the thing. Um, because the distance that you need to cover is almost preemptive. Like you have to know that okay, I need to be this close before I can. Move. Um, so Elliot up a stock, just really good. Um, Amarek needs to kind of get a really good conversion. So Falco's at 45, he just kind of wants to... Amarek Elliot, can't... Elliot just looks so consistent here, man. Yeah, he does. He, he's just he just really controlled. One laser dash dance, one laser dash dance, seeing what he's going to do. Yeah. So, okay, that's actually a really funny thing I, I just saw. Oh, that was really good. Um, Talk about it. So... If you dash attack as Fox, maybe even Falco, but I know for a fact Fox, it happens with Fox. If you dash attack into somebody's shield, um, they can't grab you because it pushes a little bit further into your grab than your grab can touch. Interesting. So okay. it's it's kind of like a cross up, but they don't end up on the other side. They're just they're so far in oh, that the grab can't, won't hit. Yeah, grab won't okay. hit. Yeah. So that that's what happened there. Um, so which Amrak is chooses FD here. Yeah, that's a very classic counter pick stage because. <laughs> If Amrak plays perfectly. Oh, yep. so, okay. That was a really good roll-up because Elliot's basically saying, 
I'm going to give up all the stage that you gave me. Yeah. But you have to read me doing it. Because it's scary, right? Because yeah. Falco is literally willing to just go all the way off stage and just go like, okay, you're going to have to chase me. Yeah. If he gets hit at all during that, he, he just dies, yeah, right? Yeah, 100%. So that was just, um, Amarek didn't call it out or anything. He just kind of like left that way to do whatever. Um, which is, I think is fair because Amarek still gets center stage, but it's up to him to keep it. Um, Putting the onus on the enemy to do the best that they can to yeah. make the best out of that situation. Yeah, yeah. Amarek going ahead here. It doesn't seem like he's getting these big strings that you need against the Falco, though. Yeah, Amarek needs to play the chain record. Uh, yeah. He misses dash, unfortunately. So, and yeah, so the reason why this stage is. It's kind of hard to say, I think, nowadays, but um, people say, or at least they used to say, that this stage is Fox favorite just because Fox gets a chain grab. But again, chain grabbing is... Oh. Um, that was hard to... It was hard to tell whether that was good SDI or just a yeah, bad up air. I was wondering, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but regardless, let's just say it's good SDI. Yeah. Um, Give Elliot the benefit of the doubt. He deserves yeah. it. Mr. 22 right here. Okay, really, good, yeah. down good down smash. Good down smash. Good down smash. Um... Yeah, so one thing I think Ellie does really well as well is wave dashing in and then shining. Because he... So if Fox is right in front of him, yeah. he's going to try to close the space as fast as possible. Yeah. So he will... Like, if you pay attention, sometimes he, like, wave dashes in. Oh, that was a really good trip out in the mirror, too. Yeah. So, see, he, here's the thing. Elliot knows that Amrak wants to roll in, yeah. and Amrak rolled in because he wants to get stage. But Elliot covered that, and Amrak knew that he was ready to cover that, so he held down. And so instead of being popped away, he was still on the ground. You gotta so, get to the levels right here. Yeah. Oh, he popped that. Yeah, Elliot didn't know what to do there. I think he he was like kind of confused. That was good. That was, that was really nice. Yeah. Um, he kind of. I think he was like thinking about trying to cover the option up, but then he realized it was like, really risky. I think he risky. was thinking and that was the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, oh, that's a misinput. I don't think anyone should forward throw there. Okay, good back here. Um, How does he cover this uh, edge guard here? Oh, he's below. Scary times. Yeah, okay, that's really, really good. good. So, I think uh, going for a shine there is really clever because I think every fox in the world would be ready to tech that mm -hmm. uh, down air. Um, so what you do with a shine is you just pop them up, yep. and because he is at such high percent, there's so much hit stun when you get hit by a shine, you can back air or down air. You can do anything. Yeah, you can do anything. Yeah. 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 And they can't adding another it. layer of complexity yeah. to, a, to what would be a very normal interaction that Amrak would be ready for. That was a really good ASDI up. Um, so a lot of a situation in melee is, um, that happens like pretty often is if you're like you're down on the ground uh, because you're getting tech chased. Um, but you know they're going to try to jab reset you. So what you do is you hold both sticks, or you wiggle both sticks up, so if you get jabbed, you pop up oh, you instead pop up. of getting reset. Yeah, you're going to get reset. Okay. Um, Ellie did that, which is really, really good. So that was really Amazing good. awareness. Yeah. Ellie's up, 2-1. Oh, These lasers just feel... Oh, yeah. my god, dude. It's just... Ellie's just getting the, these out guards like, yeah, way more consistently. Really well. Amrak just gets the shines. Mm -hmm. Look at these. Yeah. I like shield pressure. Amazing shield pressure. You know um, all about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Angling a shield properly too. Oh, okay, oh he, As I he, say got, that. he got shield poke. Yeah, he got shield poke from the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was angling to the front. Because he was angling backwards. Okay. That was the only reason why I got the, yeah. on the angle there. So Amarek really, really wants to find his group, but it looks really difficult. Yeah. Because he's not. Okay, he called Elliot out there. Maybe that's what he needs. So go. yeah, this is this, this is the is first time we're yeah. really seeing those. those yeah, you, you can see he's not very comfortable doing yeah. those because. Okay, these upstairs are really good. Up to, see, there he hesitated. He wasn't sure how to follow up on that combo. Uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. That works. Yeah. Like Emmer needs to do more of those. He needs to play more disciplined once he gets a grab, because I think he's trying to play a little bit too much. Like uh, the momentum. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was really Yeah, good. that was just taken away from Elliot. was like, nah, yeah. nah, man, nah. Yeah. You think you had it? Nah, it's not happening. See, that, that's why the matchup is so rough. Elliot just ASD down 10 Elliot just match. does, a, like, he, he does this double jump as he's falling, and it just seems like such a dangerous thing, but it feels like he has defense to keep up with him, if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, he tried to shine it. Barely missed. He just barely missed. Okay, back air. Uh, side B. Nope. These lasers have just been on point. Try to get up attack. Oh, just oh. barely down 
That's okay. Still uh, in advantage though. So Kelly tried to down smash after he fell down because mm -hmm. if Emmerich were to take in place or anything, yeah. that was really Ooh. good. That was really good. The soft Elliot kept the DIing other. in and he just called him up on it, so that was really good. Uh, so, oh. Oh, no. just yeah. a backer. That's rough. <laughs> he, was at, he was above 100. He really, yeah, I mean, he, I mean, if he went to ledge, he would have to ledge dash. Yeah. Like, that's really, like, technical. Um, and he was just, like, he was just cornered. Mm -hmm. I think Elliot makes you feel that way sometimes. Yeah, Very... I mean, like, when, you saw his shield pressure yep, there. Yep, yep. That makes it really, like, Fox, Fox needs to go, like, there's going to be a moment that I can get out. Yeah. But being aware of that situation in the heat of the moment is extremely difficult. I'm guessing when you're playing Elliot, it feels like he already knows what that thing that you want to get out with sometimes is yes be. yeah sometimes yes but as the person who's getting shield pressured mm -hmm. it's really hard to just stay calm and yeah. go like this is what i need to do to get out because you're just getting hit by moves mm -hmm. and it's really fast bing, 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 bing. yeah it's like really fast <laughs> like it's really difficult doesn't stop oh 